Uh, let's try a different view. Uh, yes. So we, I'd like to try a different uh, view uh, of this uh, manipulation. What if I wanted to call my function, so instead of saying c equals a plus b, what if I wanted to, to swap, right? If I wanted to say swap the values of, uh, swap the values of a and b, just like this. Essentially, uh, after all, why did I write this function swap? In order for me to be able to go and be able to swap the values. So I want to exchange the two values, a and b, and I want them to be swapped. OK, so this is my attempt. And then, of course, after the swap, I'm expecting that if my swap uh, does the right thing, I should be able to say display should be able to display um, the value of a. So I can say a equals and display what a equals. Right? Then I should be able to display what uh, b equals and uh, display that as well, equals b, and then display a new line, a new line like this, and then uh, essentially test it, uh, how it works. All right, so I'm just going to say build, try build this. Uh, and, um, and just wait, pack it in a little bit like that, and build, and just run it, right? So um, unfortunately, my swap didn't work. A is still equals 1, and B still equals 2. Uh, so that didn't work. Why do you think that didn't work? Any thoughts why this didn't work? There is that, again, if we look at memory, and this time, we'll just do it one more time. I'm going to uh, try something like this. Uh, so here we have, um, uh, here we have um, memory. OK. And uh, the first, uh, first, what happens is that we invoke function main. Right or operating system invokes function main. Function main gets its stack frame on a stack. Okay, so we say this is a stack frame uh, that uh, belongs to main. Okay, uh, so this is the stack frame. Of course, it creates two variables a and b. So variables a and b exists here in local scope of main, in other words, in the stack. That's where these variables are created and populated with their values, 1 and 2. Right? So that's where they initialized. Then we invoke function swap. OK. We invoke function swap. And this function swap, what happens is that Number one, yes, of course, it, it's going to get its own stack frame right here. But before that, remember that this function takes two parameters, and we pass them as actual arguments to the function uh, you know, using a and b, uh, variables a and b. So as we discussed last week, the parameters are passed simply by copying the value of 1 and the value of 2 to the stack before the function is called. OK, let me just be a little bit more careful with that. We, it, those two are copied to the, uh, to, to, to the stack memory. So those values are nameless right now. And simply, 1 is copied and 2 is copied because what happens is that we, we're preparing to call this function. Then, of course, swap is invoked. And before swap can execute, its own stack frame is organized on the stack. And uh, it's all configured in such a way that left and right, I'll just simply use um, left and right as, as, as one character here, uh, essentially get these values. This is the, 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 very, the left variable and the right variable that they're initialized with these two values. Okay? What happens inside swap? 
inside swap, we actually do the swap. We actually use this uh, temporary va variable right here. So we save left here. We then uh, we then assign um, we then assign left equals right. Left equals right. We do this type of assignment. Oops. Uh, control Z. Uh, undo and just we do this type of assignment. And eventually we do this type of assignment. And so yes, of course, as a net result. Uh, these two uh, values are exchanged. This is 2 and this is 1. Okay? But guess what happens next? Look what just happened. We swapped copies of our variables with A and B. Right? We swap the copies of values because what happens next is the swap returns back to main. And when swap re re uh, returns back to main, this is what happens. All of this dis disappears, right? Uh, this swap call, this this is gone, okay? And we're back in main, right? This is our memory, and uh, what we are having is that uh, A and B have not been uh, touched because um, the principle of passing parameters is pass them by copy, not by address, by copy, not by some kind of you know, indirect access to the original variables, but simply by copying them. So our swap has no effect. It works, but it's not achieving the, the result that we need.